Hey boys and girls, how's everybody doing? Q here. Uh, it's a nice day here, a little bit cooler than uh, it's been lately. It's in the 60s, which is kind of nice. Still have the two uh, go-to bikes. I got my big Vaquero, which is the touring bike, uh, cruiser. Uh, the one that my wife likes to ride on the back of. And of course, my uh, beautiful Royal Enfield interceptor 650 which which i just think is maybe the greatest motorcycle ever made just just pure motorcycle if you know what i'm saying it's just pure motorcycle experience one thing i, I did recently uh that i did want to share with you guys is i got the dna air filter you can see i put the little dna sticker down there and when i bought the uh, dna and installed it it comes uh, with this uh, clamp, this little triangular shaped clamp to, that replaces the plastic snorkel that was over the uh, stock air filter. So I put that on and sure enough, you know, I got this roarty sort of growl from the motor at, uh, at much lower RPMs. But what disappointed me is I lost my high end power. I lost that surge of power between 5,500 and 6,500 RPM. It was kind of flat up top. So I said, well, well, that's kind of weird. So then I thought, well, what about, what if I took the DNA filter, left that in, but I put the original plastic snorkel back on there? So that's what I did. But then I did one thing further. When I was looking at the plastic snorkel, I noticed that it had this kind of rough uh, seam down the middle of it where evidently two pieces of plastic were molded together to produce the snorkel. So I took a Dremel, and you could take any sort of grinding tool, and I, I smoothed out that seam, that rough seam on the inside of the snorkel, and so I put that back on. So what I have in there now, I have the DNA filter, with the stock intake cover, but I ground down that seam so it's smooth in there. The result has been fantastic. I have more power across the rev range. I don't get that noisy growl. I don't need to be making noise on a motorcycle with, without any power to go with it. So that low end roarty, you know, roar is gone. I don't get that till I get to the high end. So the bike's a little bit quieter low end, uh, but a little bit noisier overall. Nice power across the power band, nice smooth airflow, and uh, overall improvement. So I did, I did want to share that with you guys. Highly recommend that approach. Other than that, uh, not much to report. I did uh, an oil change, which was pretty easy, but I still managed to spill oil all over my garage which I had to clean up because I'm an idiot. And uh, so that's about it, guys. So let's go for a ride. So hey guys, one other thing. I got this old school bubble shield on this Senna helmet that has communications. It's a really cool setup, I love it.